This video is made for adult collectors because you have to be like a young adult to actually drive one of these things in real life. Alternators continues to impress me with how they managed to make such realistic looking cars turn into robots that actually work. Like modern articulation and all, but like, alternators also always have such weird problems and this one has all these little things that don't make sense to me. This is Wind Charger and as he's an alternator I'm starting in alt mode. This is a Honda S2000 and I like this car a lot so this alt mode is just super cool. Rubber tires, real badges, proper rims, clear inserts, and fully detailed headlights and taillights. It also helps that this looks like a car I can actually feasibly see on the road because this is a more realistic thing to spot in the wild over the Ford GT. But what I really like about this car is the gimmicks. You got turning wheels. Again, the way they achieve this is so awesome. They use magnets to connect the axle together to let it turn because you split the axle apart. That's cool. The hood opens revealing an engine. My only issue is the engine doesn't plug in. It just rattles and falls out and it's kind of annoying. There's an opening trunk. That's a huge plus. And opening doors that reveal an interior. You can't really see the interior because there's a roof and Lloyd's in the way, but let's fix that. If you notice, this is a soft top. For those of you who don't know, a soft top is basically a cloth convertible top thing. You can actually remove the roof and replace it with this alternate piece that makes it look like the roof is folded away. How cool is that? They give you the option to have it convertible or not. And I absolutely adore that. I wish more toys did this. And now you can see the highly detailed interior, which for some reason the shifter is a separate part and it's fallen out and I don't know where it's gone. I think the vacuum ate it. Car time with my dad, featuring my dad. Car. <laughs> yes, it's a car, thank you very much. What do you think of the car? I think it's really, uh, I have to admit it's one of the best looking representations of a car. This looks like the actual S2000. That's the best part, right? It, it, it's uh, it's very realistic. It's 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 just, it looks really good. And I do like the fact that on the oh. bottom, I know the engine moved. On the bottom, there's nothing protruding, which, you know, gives it away to transformers. So Here, just hand there, me there you go. Oh, you got it? Okay. Yeah, it looks great. I think this is a this is a fantastic uh, work done by the uh, by the company. My favorite part is this, this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, the, 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 when you put that on, it's, it's actually, it's, it's again, it's incredible. It's, this looks like the real car. I'm impressed. So we love the car mode. Now let's get him into robot mode. His tra get, get, get out of there. His transformation is interesting and it's not the most fun thing in the world to do, but I'm, I mean like what alternator's toy has the most fun transformation to do? I'm going to remove the roof because you kind of have to just remove the roof. So we're gonna leave that on. This isn't gonna be a walkthrough again so much as me just pointing out the things I like and don't like. Like I really like how the doors work but then I don't like how all of this in the middle works. So you gotta like, oh, the engine just ran off. I don't know, did the Honda S2000 ever break down a lot? Is that the reason why the engine keeps flying up? You open the trunk boot, you split the arms, you bring this back and around. That feels very alternators-y, right? And then the arms do this really cool trick where they swing down like this. And I love it when figures do that because it just makes everything feel super clean. Then boys, oh, you're supposed to open the hood. There we go. This is the part where it gets a little weird. Unpeg the legs, bring them down. Here's those magnets, by the way, that I was talking about earlier. Then you gotta rotate this and it gets caught on literally everything as you bring it around. Then you fold the seats down, rotate the waist. It gets caught on literally everything as you flip it around. Ooh, that didn't sound very nice. Then you wanna fold the chest plate down to make sure it does, the, the little roof bit doesn't pop off because sometimes it does like to pop off. Now the legs, the legs are the weird part. You wanna, oh, the magnets keep sticking. You wanna sort of flex this front hood piece or front grill piece beyond the tire and I don't like doing that. Then you bring the foot out, fold the magnet in, rotate it and fold out the heel and then make sure the door stays 
Ass a leg. The rest of it's okay, but yeah, and then there you have Wind Charger. Not a horrible transformation. It does have parts forming, if you don't like that, but this just plugs into his arm as a shield. And the engine I will pick up because it flew away from me. Robot mode looks great from the waist up. I'm not the biggest fan of the legs. They don't seem to match the build and proportions of the rest of the body and their functionality is really frustrating to me, but I'll talk about that more when we do articulation. The use of car parts is cool though. You can actually see bits of vehicle that, and they're not just like unnecessary kibble. The shoulder pads can be angled however you want them to be. I personally like to flare them up. There is also so much nice detail exposed on the midsection where the silver really helps elevate those details. Like it looks like he's got an engine for a chest. Accessories are a bit lackluster. Well, on the one hand, you got the soft top, which becomes a shield and that's cool, but the engine becomes a gun that looks more like he's holding a spatula the wrong way. Not a fan of the gun. The Binaltech version is supposed to have a pipe that connects to the front to look like an actual gun. And when you transform it, that's what holds the engine in place. But for some reason, they removed it on the alternators version and I don't know why. Men's hitting the crip walk. So fart breath here, his articulation is serviceable, but like he has the joints, but they just, get in their own way. The head is on a very expressive, like you can look up all the way. Ball joint, you got some tilt, you got some rotate, that's fine. The shoulders can rotate as well. They can only go back that far and they can only go up that far. They can't really go any further unless you want to flex it and I don't want to do that. Uh, the shoulder pads can move, the arms can move as well. You have a very tight bicep joint, you got single jointed elbow and then the wrists can move. They're on ball joints and you got the three finger trigger finger split. You do have a waist joint, which is nice. Um, this does get in the way though. You have to move that out to waist joint him and then it just kind of looks a bit weird from certain angles. Legs can go forward, they cannot go back. They can go out about that far unless you've got them out a bit more than they can go that way. Now, this doesn't lock in, so his legs are constantly bowing inwards on me and it's really annoying. You do have a bicep, bicep. This is a bicep. You do have a thigh swivel. And the knee bend, ah, only bends one click that way because this piece of trim bumps into here. Now, if you move this, you can get a little bit more of a knee bend, but now the leg looks like that and it looks stupid. So that's unfortunate. And this knee is so stiff. Ah, oh, there we go. I don't like it. Ah, eh, there we go. And then you have ankles around ball joints so they can sort of swivel and pivot, but they can't go up and down. You can bend the heels. You wanna get him to like stand with his toe tilted a, a bit. But yeah, it's not the most, like if I wanted to pose an alternator, I would pick up Mirage more than I would pick up Wind Charger, but it's not terrible. I mean, it's not great, but it's not the worst articulation I've ever seen. So yeah, I have my issues, but the Honda mode is just so nice. I got this for like 30 bucks, and if you can find it for that, I'd say it's totally worth it. I do really wanna get more of these. I should probably find, uh, Ram Pickup Truck Prime, because I hear that's pretty bad and I want to experience that. But that's my look at Alternator's Wind Charger. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.